Hello dear students, welcome to the science class. So today we will see a the new lesson, the world of plants. And the lesson we are going to see about different types of roots and stems. And today we will see about the roots. Okay. So and we have studied the functions of roots. Do you remember that? What are the functions of roots? Yeah. First function, the roots hold the plant firmly in the soil and second one roots store food some roots store food and the third one roots absorb water and nutrients from the soil okay then they are transported to the other parts of the plant that are the functions of the root and today we will see the different types of different types of roots Okay, the first one water storing roots so and we studied there are two types of root system fibrous root system and top root system a top root system there is a main root and some roots are arise from the top root from the main root and fibrous root there is no main root the, some small roots arise from the base of the stem and water storing roots are top roots and these roots absorb water from the soil and store in the roots so these plants can survive in the dry uh, season or the summer season during the dry climate also the plants can survive with the water absorbed by the roots for example pumpkin and all the gods ash god is there bitter god is there so all these gods are these type all these gods have water storing roots okay so plants have two types of roots top roots and fibrous roots small thread like structures present on roots are called root hairs they absorb water and nutrients from the soil so when we observe a top root we can see small small uh, roots arise from the main root they are called root hairs and they absorb water and nutrients from the soil okay so first one is water storing roots top roots store water that helps plants to survive in dry regions and in summer season okay for example pumpkin and god the next one food storing roots uh, roots of some plants store food for example tapioca you are familiar with the tapioca so uh, tapioca's roots store food and that only we are getting in the form of tapioca, tapioca and we are eating and other roots are uh, carrot, beetroot, radish these all store food in the roots so some roots store food in the roots for example carrot, radish, beetroot etc. Okay, food storing roots top roots store food as starch so they are eat edible roots means they are eatable so we have seen what are edible crops and all so the the roots can be eaten example carrot radish turnip beetroot etc and the next one is propagative roots that comes under fibrous roots propagative roots so propagative roots have buds lying close to the surface of the soil and from these buds new plants will grow okay you look at the picture it is a picture of its, uh, strawberry so here the roots originate from the base of the stem and you can see the new buds are forming and these new buds grow into a new plant okay these are uh, for example cherries uh, strawberries etc okay these are Propagative roots. Roots are originate from the base of the stem and it has some buds and that buds grow into a new plant. Okay, some fibrous roots have buds lying close to the surface of the soil. Such roots grow individually into a new plant. For example, cherry, strawberry. Okay, these are fibrous roots. There are no uh, main roots there is no main roots so these are fibrous roots and the next one aerial roots so you have seen banyan trees isn't it 
and everywhere we can see banyan trees and have you seen the roots are hanging from the branches of the tree so in banyan tree more roots are hanging from the branches of the tree they are in the air that's hence the name area roots so these roots are suspended in the air it absorb water from the moisture present in the air and we know what our atmosphere the air contains water vapor isn't it that water vapor is absorbed by the roots suspended from the branches of the tree these are the roots they can absorb water from the atmosphere water vapor is present in the atmosphere that water is absorbed by these roots okay these roots are suspended from the branches of the trees it is hanging from the branches of the trees okay for example banyan tree so next one buttress roots that also comes under fibrous roots and in the picture you look at the picture you can see the roots are uh, these are the trunk no uh, the big stems are called trunk what is the trunk big stems are called trunk so this is the trunk portion and from the trunk roots originate and it spreads all over the trunk isn't it in all sides we can see the roots so these roots helps the plant do not fall okay and also it absorb water and nutrients from the soil okay these are large fibrous roots of bay fig trees that grow out from the base of tree trunks this is the tree trunk and the roots are growing from the base of the trunk and it is mainly the trees are mainly grown in rain forest and roots do not go deep inside the ground because of pure soil here in rain forest the soil is very less so the roots are not going deep into the soil uh, but it spreads all over the trunk that is why uh, the trees will not fall down so roots spread on all sides to prevent trees from falling roots absorb more nutrients from the soil so they absorb water and nutrients from the soil okay that's about buttress roots and one more tree is given here mangroves what is that and uh, on the bank of the rivers and all you can see to prevent soil erosion uh, this type of trees are planted and you see the roots the roots are above the water you can see the roots of these plants are above the water uh, they absorb water okay and also you can see trees like mangroves grow in marshy areas marshy areas what is the uh, specialty of marshy areas in marshy areas what type of soil is there clay soil is there clay soil is there so that contains water the clay soil water content is more marshy areas with clay soil hold a lot of water clay soil hold a large amount of water so these mangroves are grow in marshy areas with the clay soil okay so these roots grow above water which help the trees absorb air these roots are growing above the water so they can absorb air okay then the day, today's assignments you have to write in the notebook why do plants and trees often die after the construction of pavements around them answer plants and trees often die after the construction of pavements around them because the roots do not get enough water and nutrients from the soil when the plants and trees are not getting enough water and nutrients they will die okay then second question what are aerial roots aerial roots are fibrous roots that grow above the ground these roots suspended from the branches of the plant and absorb water from the moisture present in the air example banyan tree okay then you have to read the textbook three times okay that's all for today's class okay children